Hello, beautiful family, lovers of good things, lovers of beautiful things all over the globe. I bring greetings from a grateful heart. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, depending on your time zone. Thank you so dearly for always tuning into this platform. I really do appreciate. Please do it to like our video, share, and subscribe. Today, I have a wonderful one that I want us to watch, and I will be watching it with you. Sit back, watch it, and I'll be right back. Empire will be chased out of our land. We are taking over every territory from Onitsha to uh, uh, to Iguacha, from Iguacha to Calabar, from Calabar to Potaco, everywhere to Akwaibon, everywhere in Oguashiku, uh, in Iseluku, in Ahaba. We are taking over our territories. We will chase them out, every one of them. There is no place for the infidel. The uncircumcised will not have a place in our land. We will sing the Lord's song in our land. We will no longer sing the Lord's song in a strange land. We are going home. We are going home. And it won't be long. Begin to count the years as months. Begin to count the months as weeks. Begin to count the weeks as days. Because any day now, brethren, we are going home. Why am I so inspired this afternoon? Did you not hear? That the last 23 uh, persons, the last 23 persons that were kidnapped in that ill-fated train between, Calab between Abuja and Kaduna, the 23 of them have been released. And then you begin to ask yourself, what happened? How were they released? What negotiations were made? I am going to go to Sahara Reporters now and read for you what I saw there and analyze it as quickly as I can for you to understand that anyone that is playing with your head and your intelligence telling you that there will be a new Nigeria, telling you that uh, we will change Nigeria, obedient will do this, obedient will do that. Tell them waka, tell them I go bring one by one. I'm telling you, let's go to Sahara Reporters. I have just 10 minutes, and let's see how we can do this in 10 minutes. Let's quickly go there. I'm telling you, our victory is near, and our home going is very close. There's nothing that will hold us back. I Nana, very, very, very soon. Because as the, zoo is, as the zoo is collapsing, our freedom is drawing closer. As the wall of Jericho is falling down, we are preparing to go in and take our possession. The Bible says, and the sons of Jacob shall possess their possession. Let's see what Sahara Reporters wrote a few hours ago. Let's see what Sahara Reporters wrote a few hours ago. <laughs> hey, God, God. It says, breaking news, breaking. Terrorists free 23 remaining Abuja Kaduna train attack victims. Terrorists free 23 remaining Abuja uh, uh, Abuja Kaduna train attack victims. Let's read. Terrorists said, terrorists said to belong to Boko Haram on Wednesday released 23 remaining captives of the Kaduna train attacks of March 28. Since March 28, these people were, were kidnapped and they were held. Where were they held? They were not held in charge. They, oh my goodness, why are these people always doing this? How do I off this, uh, this thing? I'm going to off it, please. I'm going to off it. Yeah. You know, terrorists had them. Terrorists had them. You know, terrorists had them for how long? For months. Since March 28th, they were held. March 28, 2022. This was disclosed by the Secretary of the Chief of Defense Staff Action Committee, Professor Usman Yusuf, in a statement. Now, you begin to ask yourself, when these terrorists heard these people, where did they hold them? Did they hold them in Chad? Did they hold them in South Africa? Did they hold them in Abidjan? Did they hold them in Ghana? No, they were held inside the terror territory of Nigeria. These terrorists, who are many in number, who have camps wherever they are, to hold as much as 300 people, 400 people in camps, 
and put them in different places in their camp. And these terrorists are so many, they hurt these people. Because before you can be able to hold well over 100 people together, then you must be more than the number of the people you are holding. Because there are many there. And they are there in Nigeria. They could not locate them. They could not hit them. They could not attack them. They could not set the people free for months inside the same territory called Nigeria. And then you would tell me that that country will work. And then suddenly, these people are released. And there is speculation that they got well over $200,000. They said they got over $200,000. That's what they said. That's what they said. On that probability, I don't know, but that is what I was hearing from the news today. Now, you are paying these people $200,000 to do what? To acquire more arms. And then what are they going to do? To kidnap more people. More people. And now, do you know what Buhari said? I read it in the uh, same Sahara Reporters. Let's go back to Sahara Reporters again. Sahara, let's see Sahara. Let's see Sahara Reporters again. Yeah. Let's see Sahara Reporters again. These people are just monsters. These people are evil. And that is why we have no business with this zoo. Now, the imposter called Boko Hari welcomes freed kidnapped train passengers says his government delayed their rescue. Listen, his government delayed their rescue to guarantee safe return. Now, the rescue of Nigerians were delayed. Negotiations going on. Let, let, me, read, let me read the write-up. You, you listen now, you will laugh. Listen to this. He said, President Mohamed Buhari, who is not an imposter, because know that Buhari is late, has expressed delight. He will express delight at the safe return of the remaining 23 kidnapped train passengers held in captivity since March. Buhari said his administration reluctantly ignored suggestions to deploy lethal force to rescue the abducted passengers because they could not guarantee minimal collateral damage. He said they ignored suggestions to deploy lethal force. They ignored suggestions to, em to employ lethal force against terrorists to they ignored it. But come to Southeast, come to Biafra land and listen to what this idiot that Udelege Riozunia, listen to what he was saying. Listen to Hope Zodinjo. Listen. Let me take it back. Listen, someone was starting me. Listen. Oh, the who is acting on behalf of that imposter, said that there are two bushes in Njaba that he wanted to bomb the place, but he looked and saw school children that they should go and tell the people there, who are the people there? Eastern security network that are in the forest. They are not disturbing anybody's life. They are protecting our homeland. But Hopu Zodinjo is threatening to bomb them. Nobody suggesting it to him. He is being told by this same imposter who wants to who, who wants to annihilate us, but refuse to a, a, apply letter force against terrorists, non-terrorists that are kidnapping people, or rather they will pay them $200,000 to free the people. But they will bomb at any given opportunity the people of Biafra to destroy us. What For what? Because they want us out of the scene. They want to take over our land. They want to destroy us and take over our country. But we have decided that enough is enough. We are going to take the law into our hand. We are going to fight back ruthlessly. We are going to kill them if they kill us. We are going to follow them up with everything available to us. And our freedom is guaranteed in 2023. Nothing will stop it. Nothing will deprive us. Nothing will deny us our liberation come 2023 begin to count the years as months begin to count the months as weeks begin to count the weeks as days because we are going home we will have no part to play or any dealings with this imposterous evil 
wicked government of this zoological republic called Nigeria. We are going home. We have no business with them. Our liberty is now. Our freedom is now. 2023 is our year. Please rise up and join autopiloted IPOB. It is our time of liberation. It is our time of freedom. Brethren, count the years as months. Count the months as weeks. Count the weeks as days. Any day now, we are going home. I love you all, brethren. But Chukwo Kikadiyama loves you more. I don't know how effective it will be if I begin to broadcast on my way because I'll be traveling tonight. But this particular subject, I've got a lot of distractions. You can see it. But um, I really need to do these things while I'm more focused. But the truth is that the little time we have, we need to pass these messages across. And Chukwo Kikadiyama helping us, we are going to get the results of this particular effort we are making. 2023, nobody will stop us. We are going home. My name is Rafael Chamaka Jere. I'm Mazin Namdekano's disciple on Biafra Restoration. And uh, our spokesperson and our spokesman is Mazin Simon Epa. Listen to him, Mazin Namdekano said. Listen to him and share his messages because he has brought a new dimension and he keeps improving on it into this particular str struggle that we are in. May God bless our leader, Mazin Namdekano. May God bless Sunday Igboho. May God bless every freedom fighter, including our spokesman, Mazin Simon Ekpa. May God bless you that follow and listen to this gospel. May God bless all the Umwada worldwide, beginning with our, the leader of the Umwada, Madam Azoka. Bless them and bless every member of their family. Bless all our media warriors, all the warriors of truth on the social media. May God bless you all. I love you all. See you later tonight by the grace of Chuko Kadeama. Thank you very much. That brings us to the end of this update. Do wait to like the video, share, and subscribe. Thank you very much for always tuning in. I really do appreciate. Share the video and tell your friends about this platform because the best thing or the best place for you to be is here. Turn on the bell icon so that whenever I drop a new buzz boost like this, you'll be the first to notify. Thank you once again and remain blessed.